guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel today. I have a weekend in my life for you. We're kicking it off on Friday. I'm just gonna vlog progressively throughout the weekend. I have some other things I wanna talk to you guys about and it's going to be a great vlog. So welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here. My name is Brooke. Hit that subscribe button because we have so much fun around here. I got ready for the day on TikTok Live, which was super fun. Trying to use TikTok more, one of my resolutions. I made myself an espresso coffee because I have a lot of products lined up here that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Things that I have pulled from various, you know, the shower, my makeup, whatever. Things that have been standout products to me this year. You guys have heard of Oprah's favorite things, but have you heard of Brooke's favorite things? That's cute. Fuzzy socks. Whenever it's winter, I literally need to have socks on. My feet are so cold. My hands and my feet get so cold, but I'm also drinking an icy drink, so that you know makes a lot of sense. I wanted to do um, a 2022 favorites video, but I realized that it probably wasn't enough to like do its own video. So I was like, let me just put it this weekend in my life, talk through some of the products that really stood out to me this year, things that made my life better, easier, just overall things that I've been using like consistently for most of the year. So if you're not interested in this segment, I will put a timestamp down below for when like the rest of the vlog will resume, but I think it will be fun. We'll start off with skincare. Also, some of these I've definitely talked about before because they've been favorites, you know, for the year, but that just shows they're really, really good products, okay? Number one is this CeraVe Hydrating Micellar Water. And honestly, I don't have them to show, but the CeraVe Makeup Wipes too. Everything cleanser-wise from CeraVe is amazing. They also have a really good makeup remover balm. But this, um, I really, really like for taking off my makeup. I've used other micellar waters, and not that I think that they're like bad on my skin or whatever, but I just noticed that this one, it doesn't dry out my skin, it takes off my makeup, it does what it needs to. I like using a cleansing balm, but sometimes I just wanna like literally just swoop my makeup off, so I use some, this, or like I said, the makeup wipes that they have have the like micellar water technology. I was really out on makeup wipes for a while, but I kind of got back into them because of CeraVe and because I trust them. I just feel like CeraVe products work really, really well for my skin and they are affordable, which I love so much. I will link it down below. I'm pretty sure you can get this on Amazon. I'll try to link all of the stuff down below. Okay, next up, another skincare thing. I don't use too many potions and potions. Like I really try to keep the routine simple. Like I'm not one of these like 80 step skincare routine people. I do double cleanse my skin and then I use like moisturizer always on my face eye cream and then like I prep my skin with like a serum before I do my makeup whatever I really keep it light I try not to do anything too crazy because you guys know I've been on like a bit of a journey for with my skin so this product is really good this is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant I like to use this after I wash my face I used to use this less frequently but I kind of like worked my way up to using it more frequently you can put it on with your fingers but I just like saturate like a cotton pad and will like rub it all over my skin. I don't know how to describe it, but I feel like it really keeps, it says that it unclogs your pores and I actually feel like that's exactly what it does. It keeps my face like looking so fresh and vibrant. I feel like I notice a difference in like the skin texture and quality when I'm actively using this. Like I said, work your way up with this, but I do really, really like it. It's a liquid exfoliant, so it's not like beads in it. It's a like watery solution, basically. I don't know when I would use a toner in my routine, but I feel like I almost use this as if it's a toner. Okay, let's do some beauty products. Fuck. If this shattered, I'm gonna be so upset. It didn't. Ding, ding, ding. Charlotte Tilbury in general slays always, but the pressed powder, the airbrush flawless finish powder, she is the winner. I go back and forth between the lightest shade and the second to lightest shade. Just a fantastic finishing powder, or if you just wanna do like concealer and stuff on your face, but do a little bit of the powder. This bad boy, oh my God, it's so good. Only con is that it's expensive and like you go through it. So I feel like I'm constantly rebuying this and it is expensive, so that's a con, but otherwise it's great. Charlotte. I love your work. Speaking of concealer, I've opted to go foundation free a lot this year and instead just do concealer primarily because of this concealer because it's so, it's thick, but it blend, blends like a dream. No, it really is so good. This is the Milk Future Fluid All Over Cream Concealer. She's Gorge. It has this nice like applicator wand. You only need a little bit of product. A little goes a long way. So what I'll do is I'll, you know, prep my skin. Sometimes I'll do like the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood filter or whatever put this on and then pretty much finish with powder. Today I do have foundation on, but like for the days that I do no foundation, this is really, really good. Covers well, but also still looks like your skin, which is nice. Me and everybody else, we're all doing the white eyeliner thing. I don't like to do like a white white. I think that this is more like a nude, which I, yeah, it's definitely more of a nude. It's not like super just like white, but it's like this nude. It's from Tarte. 
it's their fake awake and what i'll do actually is i'll bring it like into the inner corner too you can also rub it on your brow bone or whatever it has a little smudge rand on this end i feel like even the days when i'm not wearing like a ton of makeup just do, putting this on it literally makes you look more awake i personally am a fan of the look and i feel like it's a little less jarring than like white on the eyeline on the waterline because it's like more of a it almost has like peachy tones in it you know so it's a little warmer so if you're looking to do that trend but you don't want to like fully commit to like nyx jumbo pencil and milk or whatever this is probably a good one for you to go to brows valentino brow trio it has one end that's like a liquid almost like a uh, what do we want to call it like a liquid liner but it's all for your brows and then the other one is a spoolie so just a brush and then this is a just regular brow pencil so the combination of all three basically you know you can slay your brows i do really love it i'm like starting to run low on the liquid end like i feel like it's drying up on me but it's an amazing product because you could actually make the hairs look like hairs but at the same time i'm not a fan of those like crazy complex brow products the ones that you have to like sit and like they take forever this is still like a swipe it on kind of product which i do really like i have it in the shade granite i also just freshly got my hair done a few days ago so it's looking extra dark but i'm really happy with it i will insert photos here of me at my live show because you know i'm just such a superstar such a live show girly this product all over your body like talk about a glow the Sol de Janeiro Rio Sunset Glow Oil. And I use it with this Huda Beauty body brush. This is unnecessary, but like it actually does really help because otherwise you'll get it all over your hands. This all over the body will give you the most insane glow. I don't use it like every day. I use it more so for like nights out, events, stuff like that. You could totally use it every day. It smells really good. I get a lot of compliments on that. It's a nice, like, easy pump. I love it specifically on my legs, my arms, and then like my chest. I do know people that have like used it on their face, but I just am really careful with that. And just make sure you're really blended out because I feel like you can see kind of like where it starts and where it stops. That's why I like this brush with it because you really can like just get after it and like give yourself a nice golden -y glow. I am kind of running low, so I need to get some more because this is like an essential. Now, I don't know if I'm still stuck in like middle school or whatever, but these razors, they are too easy. I know there's other razors that have built in shaving cream and stuff, but none of them do it like intuition does. I use the sensitive ones because I try to use sensitive products when I can because I have kind of sensitive skin. If you haven't seen these ever in your life, they are the razors that they're super thick. They're like, I feel like I use them as like training razors when I was like in middle school, like learning to shave for the first time because my mom was like, okay, you can use these so that like, you don't cut yourself. Basically they are just these thicker cartridges because they're lined with like a soap type of shaving cream. So you don't have to use shaving cream. I find that the razor is really precise. I use it all over my body, so take with that what you will. I don't feel like my skin is super dry when I get out of the shower because I feel like it's actually moisturizing as it does it. I just feel like they're really good razors. When I tell people that I use this, they're like, really? And I'm like, I can't believe you don't use it. I know that there's other good ones that have like the built-in, it's really just the convenience of the built-in shaving cream because I don't want to lather my whole body down in that. And like, and this is so easy for like quick shaving. I think if you get the razor heads on Amazon, they're cheaper than the drugstore because I was scared at the drugstore the other day. They were so expensive, but I think you can find them for cheaper, like on Costco and stuff. It's a really good razor if you find yourself in the market for one. This is a repeat fave from many, many years, the Lumify Eye Drops. You might think, I don't have that problem. I don't have red eyes. You think that, try using these ones. It's almost like makeup for your eyes. I don't know how to describe it. It just like makes them literally like twinkle and sparkle in a way that I'm like, whoa, this is crazy. I think they're great. You can get them at the drugstore. They don't burn or anything when you put them in, which is nice. I know other eye drops, I'm like literally like dying putting them in like i can do it i can do it plain and simple you don't even have to use them every day but if you're like you know going for a full glam makeup look like try it i think you'll like it my mom uses them every day too we're just both obsessed perfume fave Mugler alien i just get compliments on this every time i wear it which goes to show i feel like that it's doing something good for me i'm so bad at describing scents not super like girly sweets the alien goddess though if you're wondering the gold bottle i talked about this on the podcast one time and i said that i got compliments from strangers for my boyfriend, whatever. A lot of people were like, what's the name of it? What's the name? So I will have a link down below. It's the Mugler, like I said, goddess. I really like this bottle too. I think it's gorgeous to leave out on your counter. I'm not a crazy like fragrance obsessed person by any means, but I started switching it up and using that one and I'm happy with it. Pimple patches have changed my life, especially with getting like bigger cystic type acne. It doesn't solve all of the cystic acne problems, but if I like feel a pimple coming on overnight, these help my confidence immensely. I could be the type of person that it's like, oh, I'm breaking out, I don't wanna go see my friends, which is like really sad, but these definitely help boost the confidence. If you haven't been on pimple patches, they will change your life. But this brand specifically, I've tried a lot of brands. Some of them are okay, but this one is the one that I know like all reliable, it will work every time. No ifs, ands, or buts. They're a little bit on the pricier side. In terms of like pimple patches, I feel like you can find probably other ones at the drugstore that are cheaper. 
but these are the most effective, so I'm like, it's worth it to me. Hair. I've been using my air wrap a lot this year, but that doesn't make the cut, but this brush does. I got sent this brush in PR. It's a nylon and bristle brush, so I think it's like the, a combination of regular like brush and then boar bristles or just bristles. I don't really know. It's from Mason Pearson. It's like a nice brush. It's like one of these, I feel like it's like almost like a doll brush, you know, that you would like give to like your American Girl doll or something. All I know is that when I use other brushes, like they do the, you know, they're great. They do the job. This one makes my hair so soft. And I feel like it enhances the shine. It just feels so good. I think this was sent to me in a kit that was like designed for slick backs and like, you know, more like updos because I think it would be good for that. Like, cause it really like, you know, grabs your hair. But for me, when I just have it straight and I like brush through with this, I'm like, oh, it kind of like, it just enhances the look. I think it makes it look really good. I guess I didn't even really notice a difference until I like used a regular brush and then I used this like the next time and I was like, oh shoot, that brush actually made my hair a lot like smoother and softer and I've been using it all year, so. I do really like it. Random favorites. I am all over the place when it comes to like my to-do lists and just like my life. I'm just kind of, you know, we're chaotic over here. But one thing that I do like to do is make to-do lists, especially for those days when I'm like, okay, this is a day that I actually need to like do shit. For the to-do list, honestly, I prefer the old pad and paper. Pen and paper. I get these from Amazon. They're just like legal pads. Always got to get the college ruled. I use them for to-do lists. Just like, it's good. Like, uh, honestly, like you plan your days on them. I wrote down like my goals for the year on one of these. I love a legal pad. Like something about it, I feel so legit. I'm like, I am that bitch. And to pair with it, some of the best pens are the Muji ones. I get the black ultra thin ones. I hope I got the right ones. This is the Gel Ink Ballpoint 0.38. So it's like a nice thin tip from Muji. You can get whatever you want. But when you find a pen that you like and you just, oh my God, it is so satisfying. I'm so weird because I'm like such a digital girl, but like when it comes to like reading books, I prefer them physical. When it comes to my to-do list, I prefer it physical. Some things I just need to not have on the computer. I have my calendar on the computer, but then like my to-do list, always physical. That's just who I am. I'm just so old school. I didn't really do fashion in this video, but I need to mention this brand because they changed my life. So the brand is Vela, V-E-H-L-A. As far as I know, they only have sunglasses. I have two pairs from them and every time I wear them, people are like, where are they from? And they also are really, really nice quality. And I really thought about the quality difference between like nicer sunglasses and like just, you know, ones that you could get online like on Amazon or like they sell them on the street in New York and there is like definitely I would say a quality difference not that it really matters you could get the look from other places but I think that these are just so great these are the Felix so fun I haven't really been wearing sunglasses in the winter because I feel like I'm bundled up I have like my hat on my scarf on like the glasses it, it's just too much and then these are the Dixie I really like these in like the summer and the spring just a great brand of sunglasses great gift idea I'm not even like huge into sunglasses like I'm not one of those people that like needs to match them to my outfit i just need like one or two like reliable pairs of sunglasses and this brand has really stood out to me that's it for my 2022 favorites just some things that were integral to my year that i really enjoyed some of these i picked up you know halfway through the year but like they, they really stood out to me now i need to do some editing so i'm going to go get to that drinking this coffee they never taste as good as Starbucks. I'm really trying. I got the syrups. What am I doing wrong? I did a TikTok about it. Everyone's kind of saying, like, it will never taste as good as Starbucks. Then you see those videos of people's, like, aesthetic coffee bars. All right. Construction, we have to stop. Still need to take down that Christmas tree. But I'm going home on Tuesday, so I'll probably just do it then. Burr, it's cold outside, but it's kind of a mess, so I... I was like, all right, I'll come out and clean up a little. I have some friends coming over. We're gonna hang out a little bit. And then later, I'm going to see Avatar, which I'm really excited about. Apparently it's like three and a half hours long, so gotta get some good snacks for that. We have time to kill before we go to the movie, so we're just walking through Bed Bath & Beyond. It's actually so fun. This one in Murray Hill, it's like huge. Just went to Trader Joe's, we're just killing time. Hibachi was great, went to Flame. All right, we're at this donut shop in Brooklyn. Very cute. It looks so good. I just got a coffee. This place is so freaking cute. So this one's caramel, mango, white chocolate coffee. And I said I wanted just chocolate. And she's like, you should get the hot cocoa. It's better. So 
Yay. I found myself on a little Brooklyn adventure. So Ben had an appointment. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to drive around until I find something. And I found this really cute bookstore. So we're going to pop in. This green light bookstore. Just parked here. I think this is technically like Fort Greene, Brooklyn. Good morning, guys. It's Sunday morning and I am making some hard boiled eggs because I'm actually going to a soul cycle class in a little bit. This is my first workout class, first time properly working out in a minute. I feel like I always say that and then I stop. I'm seeing it as a social thing, a way to see friends. I'm meeting up with a friend, we're taking a class together, so I'm just gonna have fun with it. I used to love spin so much, so I'm hoping that if it's not spin that I love this time around, I just found a class that I like and enjoy. Regardless, I didn't even talk to you guys about the books I got yesterday. At the bookstore I went to yesterday, I purchased these two books and then literally had like a cozy day, that's what we called it, and finished this book in one sitting. So these are the two that I got. The maid says, a dead body is one mess she can't clean up on her own. Molly Gray's not like anyone else. She struggles with social skills. No matter what, she still throws herself into her gusto with work as a hotel maid at the Five Star Regency Grand. I feel like I saw people talking about this. This I hadn't heard people talk about, but I it, it intrigued me, so I read it yesterday. It's told in like present time and like the past. It kind of goes back and forth. Very similar in a way to Luckiest Girl Alive. Not the same exact story, but like with the backstory and how it ties into the present. And she lives in New York and is like planning her wedding. So that element gives Lucky's Girl Alive. I did really like it though, it was a really quick read. The cover is kind of giving like teen novel, but it's definitely not. But I did really like it. I always like books that are based in New York. I can kind of like picture the setting a little bit better because obviously I live here, finished this yesterday. So now I'm two books into my goal of the year. Oh, and then I got this book in the mail. So I guess these are the next two on my list. I don't know which one I'll read first, but I heard a lot of people talk about this one, It Girl. The number one New York Times bestselling author of One by One returns with an unputdownable mystery following a woman on the search for answers a decade after her friend's murder. I don't know which one I'll read first. Those are the two next up. Like I said, gonna make these eggs, hang out today. Just have a good day. We're just gonna focus on having a good day. Oh, I got some more organizational containers in the mail too. So maybe we'll do some organizing later. We are bundled, let's go. Hi guys, I was on my computer for a while. I'm having, I don't wanna call it this cause it's kind of like depressing, but I'm having what feels like to me, like an ugly day. I don't want anyone to be offended by that, but I feel like I have these days like once a week where I don't put on any makeup. My skin right now isn't looking the best. I have pimple patches all over. I decided to let my hair air dry to give it a break from heat. And I'm just like not really trying with my appearance because it's like self-care day. So I'm like doing all my self-care routines and rituals. And honestly, I kind of like having one of these a week. And then the rest of the week I could like put on makeup and like feel pretty and like put together and stuff. It's not even something that I intentionally do, but I feel like naturally this happens on like Sundays sometimes. And I'm kind of here for it. This set is from Abercrombie. It's like their YPB line. And I just wanted to put on something comfortable. I've been loving this sweater from Free People too, because I just like wrap myself in it. And when I get hot, I just take it off. It's like so cute and cozy. It's giving a, like, I don't know, one of those movies or something where they like wrap themselves up and they're like standing on the porch. So I got some organizational bins. I'm thinking maybe we'll do that for the rest of the evening. I feel really satisfied with this weekend. I feel like I didn't just sit home the whole time. I actually did stuff. I like saw a movie, read a book, went to a workout class. So I'm, I'm actually happy. I feel like a lot of weekends tend to slip by me and I'll be like, ooh, I just like stayed in and like, you know, hung out, watched Netflix, which is completely fine. But I feel so much better when I'm doing things and like living life. So I'll show you guys what I got from Amazon. Also, I finally took down my Christmas tree because I need to bring it home this week. So that's out of the way. These are some of the organizational things I got. You guys saw I went to the container store the last time. That was great. But then I was like, oh, I should probably get a few more things. So I just did a quick online order for Amazon Old Reliable. I don't know if I mentioned this video or not, but I've been updating my Amazon shop. So it's amazon.com slash shop slash Brooke Michio. And you can go there and I should have all of this stuff. If it's not in recently purchased, it's in like apartment organization or one of those. But I did get two beauty things first, I guess. First, I got these Grace and Stella eye masks. I'm kind of running low on eye masks and I wanted to try some new ones. I love them while I get ready. When I first wake up in the morning, it's such a fun thing to throw on. I feel like they actually do make 
a difference. I saw that these were pink and the reviews were good. Anybody else like religiously check the Amazon reviews before they buy something? They're like these little packs. Maybe I'll throw it on later. We'll see. And then I restocked on Hero Cosmetics Mighty Caps, which you saw me literally talk about in this video because it's one of my favorites for the year and just of all time. And then I just got two organizational type things. This is a bin. I feel like I have one's very similar to this. It can go in the fridge or it can go in the cabinet. I haven't decided where yet, but. And then here we have another set of bins. I think these are like more various sizes. They might be good for drawers and stuff. I like the clear bins too because you can see through them. I have a few like classic non-clear ones and like you you just can't see what's in it so then you have to like remove it from the shelf to see which i feel like gets impractical these look like a good size i actually need to replace one because i like removed one from my closet over there so is that weird to use it in other parts of the house i guess it doesn't really matter like this part of the bottom kind of makes it look like that oh it's just four of the same whoops i thought it was like multi-size i really got these pretty quickly because i was like oh the reviews look good I should have uh, checked the sizing, I guess. But these are good, I guess, for the pantry too. And for um, some of my drawers, actually. So that's the organization haul. And I don't think I said, I decided I'm gonna read the maid first. We have a big book community on my Instagram, which I think is so cool. You guys were saying that these two books are great, but a lot of people were saying the maid. And I guess it's just, not that it's more popular, but maybe it's been out longer, so more of you have read it. Okay, me going through like all of my bins and things, but I just put my Nespresso pods in this bigger bin. I'm realizing that I have so many just because I have the same like type of machine before, so I've always had these pods and I've just like not gotten rid of some of them. I don't think they expire, hopefully. Anyways, I just put those in this bigger container. I have this little one. They're like bursting over the top, so this is good because I can really dig around and see. I replaced on the top, I had one of these baskets, but you can really see what's in it. So I replaced it with a clear one. And then I ended up freeing up a lot of space up there. So I don't know what else I'm gonna do, but maybe I'll swap some things around. Cause I could put this up there, but this is like my cooking oils and stuff. This is tea, which a lot of these are probably expired now that I think about it. Like this says best before. Oh no, that's 2023, we're fine. I go through such phases with drinking tea. I'm either like drinking it every day or like, I, and in my case now I haven't had a cup of tea in like a year. So I need to get back in that. I love cozying up with a cup of tea. Syrups here. This is what we came up with. I put the tea on the top because like I said, I'm not drinking tea right now. So that kind of was not so purposeful, but I also have like no groceries in the house, AKA no snacks. My pantry isn't very stocked. So with that being said, I feel like this will change once I like get more stuff. But this is what I came up with with the bins. These are like my daily, like my ritual, my probiotic. I really like these bloat pills, just like stuff that I use every day, even though this is the medicine cabinet, but that's like just supplements that I do every day. And then here on the bottom is like snacks. This is beans and like oils, espresso pods, syrups, tea, pantry goods, like pasta, pasta sauce, and then just like extras of things. So I think it's pretty organized, but there's a lot of spare space. So I feel like I could be doing more.